In this video, we will look at energy balances on closed systems. The system that we'll use is an egg. As you can see, mass cannot penetrate the eggshell and therefore it's a closed system. In this video, we will demonstrate energy in many forms. First, potential energy will be demonstrated by holding an egg above a surface. Um, potential energy is equal to mass times gravity times height. So we're holding the egg about one meter above the surface, gravity is equal to 9.8 meters per second squared, and the mass of the egg is about 0.05 kilograms. So the potential energy associated with this step is about 0.49 joules. Next, this potential energy will be converted to kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is equal to one half mv squared. So we have one half times the mass times the velocity when just before the egg hits the surface, which we estimate to be about 0.44 meters per second. This is equal to 0.48 joules, which is just about equal to the energy that we started with as potential energy. Lastly, the kinetic energy will be converted to a change in internal energy. This we will see when the egg cracks when it hits the surface. The amount of energy it takes to crack the egg will be about equal to the kinetic energy of about 0.48 joules. When the egg impacts Tyler's face, we see that the molecules holding the shell together break, and therefore the internal energy is increasing or changing. But the internal energy does not increase enough to cook the egg. <laughs> in this example, we'll be showing the transfer of energy in the form of heat. As seen in this equation, the energy transferred from the water to the egg is equal to the mass of the egg times the heat capacity of the egg times the temperature difference which is also equal to the internal energy. Unlike dropping the egg, cooking the egg requires a lot more energy as denoted by the 18.3 kilojoules. As energy is transferred from the water to the egg in the form of heat, the internal energy of the egg changes, and we can see this physical change as the egg changes from a liquid to a solid. In conclusion, energy can be in many forms, but it is always conserved.